more slides on high intensity performance and what, what limits anaerobic performance. This is a graph, and I'll step you through it, um, that shows the types of fuels that you use from low intensity exercise, sitting right now, all the way to high intensity exercise. So basically from hiking all the way to sprinting. So about in the middle here, you use a blend of carbohydrates and fats to run a marathon. As you go to higher and higher exercise intensities, you use more and more carbohydrate, mainly stored muscle glycogen. As you get to very high intensity exercises, you start to produce lactate. And finally, very, very high sprinting exercise or power, you use creatine phosphate. That's why, that's where creatine comes in for, for, for lifting. Now what happens uh, during an intense sprint? Uh, this is five times six second sprints on the bike. And this is um, blood lactate. You can see that it normally is around one millimole. And if you have a blood lactate meter, I don't know if you guys do any of that here. Some of your physiologists might. This is what it normally is. If you do five, six second sprints, it goes up about 12 times. Huge amount of lactate production. And that's that muscle burn that you feel when you sprint. At the same time in the blood, we measure hydrogen ion, H+. It also goes up about six-fold. Uh, muscle lactate as well uh, in the muscle goes up. What does that look like? If this is the muscle and you're doing high-intensity exercise, we have glycogen in the muscle and it's broken down to lactic acid. I'm sure everyone in the room has heard of lactic acid. It's actually a misnomer. 99% of lactic acid produced in the muscle is split apart into lactate, L LA minus, and hydrogen ion, H plus. Lactic acid is the combination of these two, LAH. So it's more proper to call it lactate and not lactic acid. And in fact, there's nothing wrong with lactate. It's this hydrogen ion that is the culprit that causes the acidosis and the, mu and the muscle burn. Lactate can actually be recycled by the body and made back into glucose. It's actually, there's nothing wrong with lactate. It's this hydrogen ion that's, that's the culprit. In the muscle, we have carnosine, and I'll explain a little more what that is, and it can buffer hydrogen ion. And out in the blood, I know some products have sodium bicarbonate, which is also a buffer that can um, buffer hydrogen ion and, and produce water. So during high intensity exercise, you produce a lot of hydrogen ion. And basically, it's that hydrogen ion that shuts the muscle down. If, because if your muscle starts to get too acidotic and the pH starts to drop too much, you can actually, at some point, you may actually kill yourself. But evolutionarily, the body's like, whoa, we, we aren't going to push your body so far to drive pH in the muscle down so much that we actually denature proteins and, uh, and cause adverse health effects. So your body has an internal break. When hydrogen ion builds up, it says, whoa, I need to slow down. And unfortunately, performance slows down, and, and you can't, can't perform as much.